Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. This is MH Geek, and today we are here in another episode of Monster Hunter Portable Third. So as you can see, I finally saved up enough points for the mining point on um, the Yukumo farm, which has finally been unlocked after hitting the new, the new four-star village quests. Yes. So I can only get, I only have sufficient points to get that, and uh, I'm still not going to get the wagon yet. Um, marathon. Hmm. I guess I'll just get this because why not? Oh no, I should save up for this. Yeah, the beehive. That would be pretty useful. Um, I would also want to get the high bug perfume as well, or shell bug perfume. Um, yeah, I mean, more variations in insects would be good. So, in any case, let's just go and check out the new mining point which should be appearing right about now. Yes, so there's a, a ladder added up, uh, added up, added to the the mountain. Yeah, whatever that is, that all mountain. <laughs> so, yeah, um, as you can see, there's this like, this huge blockade over here. Subsequently, when you get the mining cart, you can send your cats in. And it, it actually opens up to a huge hole into this um, massive ore mountain thing. Which um, gives like unlimited supply of ore. <laughs> so yeah, I shall not question the logic behind that because... Well, ores are still ores and totally useful. And right now, let us prepare for the next hunt. Which shall be the... Giginox. Yes, I'm just gonna bring some of these. Um, I'm just gonna take. A, should I take more coatings? Paralyzed coatings? Power coatings? Close range coatings? Mm. It's gonna be poison against poison. I don't think he's gonna be very weak to poison. Uh, screw that. Who needs coatings? Not now, anyways. <laughs> I'm just gonna save some materials and um, use them when the time comes. When I truly need them. And so I don't have to spend that much money to get them, or time and effort to... Well, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So anyway, let's go for the Giginox. So I need the Giginox for a couple of reasons. Firstly, is a key quest. I need to clear it anyways. Secondly, I would like to hopefully get two pale extracts from him. So in before Desire Sensor decides to screw me over. But anyways, I need to get two pale extracts from him to be able to craft my... Um, pumpkin set. Oh crap, I forgot to go to the hot springs. It's okay. So, pair of strikes are not exactly the most common drop from him, so let's just hope for the best. Well, I may have to kill him another once or twice off camera, I guess. And I would also like to kill Arathian if time permits, because um, I would like to upgrade my bow even more. Yes, that would be nice. And I believe he should start in area area 5 actually, because this is the first time that um, Rakuhara is facing against him in the single player mode, uh, the village quests. So there should always be an ecological ecology introduction. And yeah, more often than not, they always start in the, the uh, nesting area or resting area. Or, or not? Oh, where could he be? Area 7 then? Let's take a look. Uh, nope! Area 4. Wow, I'm just making all the wrong guesses today. That's... that's not good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Is there any cutscene? Yes, there is. There we go. The Giginox. So he's already been featured in the last episode. He's a flat, leech-like thing with four legs and wing-like growths. So and he lays his eggs. Oh, disgusting. So yeah, his head and his tail actually looks quite similar. So it can be difficult to tell them apart unless um, you pay close attention. But oh my gosh, the gigi. Uh, that's kind of gross. So yeah, I still can't imagine how that Gigi grows into a freaking Giginox, but whatever. 
Oh, he's angry. Uh, I didn't get to go through that. Ah, uh, well. So, poison. He should be fairly easy compared to the multi the guild one that we did just not, not too long ago. In the previous episode, actually. Because, um... Yeah, it's... it's the guild quest is basically catered for two or more people. So, naturally, it'll be... Um, they scaled up the monsters a bit power a little bit. So yeah. Okay, it's not a little bit, but it's quite a bit, but still. Ow! Oh, ouch. I forgot about that move. So actually it's um it's not the worst idea to play melee against the Giginox because you can go behind him quite easily if you're staying close to him. If you're ranged, it may be a little bit more troublesome. But then again, he jumps all over the place like that, so it becomes quite um, frustrating as well. Just trying to break his... Uh, whoa. My camera is going all wonky there because uh, I've been clicking the wrong buttons. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just, oh, nice. That's a beautiful bomb right in the head. Just want to be careful to not get poisoned. Yep, both my feline companions are poisoned, which isn't very good, but uh, I don't have anything that I can do to cure them. Actually, I, I'm i not sure if they have steam bombs in this game, like in portable, as in, in, in damage for you. Anyway, he just did a sort of a grabbing move, where if he does grab hold of the hunter, he will... Oh my gosh, that was close. He will... Uh, begin fisting on the hunter. Oh crap, he's angry. Ah. Well, one of the major differences between his front end and his back end is that um, his front end has teeth. Well, the back end, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, this is quite, quite the tight corner. Whoop. Oh my. Nope. Yep. So his breakable parts include the, the, whoop. Nope. The eye-like areas on his uh, both his head and tail. They aren't actually eyes, they're more like heat detecting organs. So whatever the case, um, yeah they are breakable. And he's, there's a little purple pink glowing section on his belly which can also be broken. Oh my gosh, is he going somewhere? Yeah, it seems to be going somewhere. I'll just follow, or not. Oh, he's not going somewhere. He's gonna jump down? I'm preparing the bot, the Bounce bomb. Oh. Didn't go anywhere after all. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and arrow rain that. Never mind, I missed. Hope uh It's quite hard to break his um head because I'm using a spread bow. It'd be much easier if I used a rapid bow, but I don't this bow currently does more damage than my other bow. So I'm just... Oh, why would you do that? I'll just stick to this bow. What's he up to? Oh. Nope. Let me just try and put a bounce bomb right here underneath him. Boom! That hit him apparently. But um, he didn't fall, sadly. So I'm not sure how to use the bounce bomb like so-called so correctly. Because um, there should be a way to actually take him down from the ceiling. Or maybe I was just imagining things, I'm not too sure. Oh, he's going to lay a poison sack. Which is one of his signature moves. Yes, Oh. Let me just rain down upon your head with arrow rain. Oh, nice. Flinched him. Okay, I just hope that I can break. Whoa! That was close. So... Dodging out of the way of that, no biggie. He's shooting more poison bombs, no biggie. And he's now targeting me, now that's a problem. But he missed, so no biggie. Oh no, don't, don't roll into the... Nope. Okay. Gosh, they have to improve the AI of the feline companions, but I guess, well, there are limitations. Can't make them too strong either. But I am actually looking forward to playing uh, Monsanto Cross. Although I do not own a Japanese 3DS. I wish I did though. So I can, you know, join in on like everyone's fun hunting. 
all the new stuff and having to uh, be able to play the cats and all. Oh, and I broke the, the heat detecting, the heat sensing organs on the, the front. Time to focus on the back this time. Or is he, oh, he's flying off. He's actually flying off. He will be going to area 2 if I'm not wrong. Just gonna pop this ration as well. Yep, he's he's totally flying off. Should it should if I remember correctly, he will go to area two. Uh, so while he's making his way there, let me just you know mine the ores here. Thank you for helping, Ivanko. So yes, he's left the area. He should be heading right there right now. And is he here yet? He's not here yet. He could have gone to area. 3 or 1, that that could be a possibility. So let me just go and um, take a quick peek as well. I don't have him paintballed, which is an issue as well, so... Oh, he's here! What are you doing here, man? Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. Th thanks for roaring. Not, not particularly thankful for that, actually. Okay, time to focus on his posterior end, which is essentially his butt. Whoa! I can't really aim very well with. Nope! Ah! Why did you steal my. F oh! Oh my god! These cats are annoying! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Okay, I got the bounce bomb back. Ah, I can't be bothered, that's just a first hit, man. Okay. Oh, never mind! I'm not a how, but. My cat got it, maybe? Poison bomb. Oh! Nice! Whatever happened? Oh, he's, he got flinched. So, I'm just gonna try and rain on his butt. He's gonna do a body slam. He's gonna keep going with this. He's just letting me do it. Like, I mean, well, that's the point of having feline companions. They, uh, they serve as good distraction. And not to mention that, oh, wow. He really has to swing his butt around like that. <laughs> gonna do another body slam. Not too much of a problem, I missed that. Then again he moved, so... Oh, come on, please. Oh, he's out of step. Oh yeah, he's fatigued. I'd actually want to pick this up and hope it's a pale extract. Oh, it's a secret stash. It's it's from the cat, it's not from him. Darn it. Ah, crap. Oh, I did hear the sound of a shiny coming out, but I'm not sure. Is it? Yes, it is. I'd like to get it very much. Would you mind letting me get it? You're out of stamina, so yes, you would totally let me get it. Fearsome Maw. I think that is actually one of his rare drops. I can't remember clearly though, but um... No, no, no. Oh! Okay. Indeed, don't come here. Oh, he's, he's flying off. Ah. Let's see if I can... I, I, can't, I can't reach. Ah, uh, darn it. So right now all I can do is just watch out for his shadow, see where it goes, and since there are bugs here, why not just get them? Thunderbug is going that direction, which is probably back to area 4. So let's just quickly scoot right over there, and finish him off. He should be trying to find something to eat. Where is he? He should be coming from the cave entrance again. Where was the cave entrance? Oh, right there. There we go. So I'm just gonna greet him. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna get another hot drink to drink instead because I don't want to lose my stamina. Oh, he's angry. Ah. Uh, okay, he's gonna do his head sweep again or not? Oh, that he did really do it. I knew it. Called it. Just gonna. Oh, nope. Don't don't turn around. Okay, good. And his baby Gigi just landed right beside me, that was quite lucky. Um, oh my gosh. Right now I'm just completely estimating where the arrow rain would land and all, I'm not really aiming that much. Which is a good and bad thing. I mean good if I hit, but bad if I miss, but that, that completely didn't do shit. Alright, let me just get the bounce bomb up. He's right above me, yes I knew it. Okay, he didn't stay up for too long, so... Okay... 
The Hans are starting to get a bit more... Oh my gosh, that was close. A bit more um, tiring, more long-drawn because for one, my equipment is not exactly up to level and the monsters do get harder as you progress, which is like any other game. There's some sort of a progression, else there'll be no fun, no challenge. So, he is still... He's getting... He's one of the tougher monsters right now. At least up until I get my better equipment. And until monster... Monster... I mean stronger monsters come around. So yeah. He interrupted um, that flute, so that was annoying. Not the best. Oh. Come on. Are, are you... Oh, he's limping. And he's going to fly away again. Let me just see if I can land a few more shots on him. Oh, I can't. Can I? Uh, no. Oh, no. Whatever. Oh, nope, Gigi, nope. <laughs> so I think he is going to hit. Oh, wait, what, what was that? Oh, bones. Wow, I just accidentally rolled over, rolled under the Gigi, but, anyways. Um, bones can be useful. I don't mind grabbing some. I believe he hit it this way this time. I did see a shadow fly, but it could be hitting towards area 3 as well. I mean, the shadow can just go both ways. So yeah, he is at area 3. Back back to 3. Um, or he could... Hmm, I don't know. Let's just take a look. I should have pinballed him, honestly, but... Sometimes, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> and honestly, because... Oh my gosh. Because it's not like... um. Rathian or Rathalos which really fly around a lot and there's only so few places where he can fly out so I'm not it's easy to be able to predict where he goes and as such I don't really mind just going for a short chase and just hope that I can break oh nope 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 leave me alone okay good he did leave me alone thank you oh give me my potion back oh oh oh, oh my gosh no 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 I want my potion back. Yes. Oh crap. Potions are important. You can take the first hit mats, but not the potions. Oh, there he goes again. Can I shoot him down? No, I can't. Probably need like a better bow for that. To try that. And usually pierce bows and uh rapid bows would be easier to shoot down a flying a monster that's escaping. Because is it just me or did he hit this way? He totally did hit this way, right? Yeah. Yep. Where is he? Oh, he's coming from here. Hey, buddy. Just gonna rain some arrows as you walk in. It's my way of greeting you, which isn't actually very friendly. I'm sorry, but I'm here to hunt you anyways. Not be your friend! Oh, gosh. Alright, I'm just gonna drop a bomb right here. It's gonna be shooting all the bombs all over the place. Poison nonsense, which I am not a fan of. Oh, I did I did shoot him off the wall. Woohoo! That's I haven't done it. Oh gosh. Get get off, Gigi. You you interrupt me. Man, I could have gone for another arrow shower right into his belly piece. If that Gigi did not interrupt me. Oh well. Right, trying to make this as accurate as possible. Oh, oh he threw away. Oh, oh, he's angry again. Oh no, god darn it. Here we go. Oh, poison. He's gonna be laying another. Oh no, he's doing that. AOE cloud thing. I remember back back when I was a beginner, I, I had no idea how to read his moves. I was just charging at him like an idiot. And so, basically, <laughs> I just got poisoned every single time he, died, he did that move. Oh, oh, he died. Woo! Sweet. Ah, uh, too bad I didn't get to break the... Break the butt end, but... Yeah, I didn't get to break the chest either, so that was... <sighs> a little sad, but it's okay. Not all is lost. 
It's but just one hunt. I can hunt him a couple more times and ooh, one more pill extra. strike. That's good. I need just one more to complete my set. And that'll be neat. So this cave has many mining spots, so we're just gonna go ahead and mine it out. Yes. Mine hard! There should be one more right here, I think. Or is this yeah, this is one. So the mining look um They've changed how mining looks after the portable third. I believe starting from 3U onwards, um, like the mining veins don't look like veins as you see right here. They are more like little ores sticking out of the ground where you can just mine them straight away. So I mean, uh, mining is still the same concept, it's just the way to present it. So I sort of prefer this kind of um, presentation because it looks more natural. Like, yeah. You don't, you don't always have ores sticking out of the ground ready for you to mine. Sometimes you gotta dig deep, you know. That's what she said. Shh. I'm just kidding. So anyway, um, yeah, I did get my second pill extract, so I am happy with that. Totally happy, like, very, very great. I don't sound like it, but I really am happy. But, uh, yeah. So, let's just quickly go ahead and craft the armor set. I would like everyone to see it. So... Actually, I'll just craft it and like you know tease you guys, and <laughs> I only show the set on the next episode. Ha 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 ha! I'm evil like that. So yeah, here we go. Um, is this it? Is this the one? The one and it's no, I need to wait. This is the one, isn't it? Yes, this is the one. So here we go. Three pumpkins, two pale extracts, ten bombberries, um, and ten cactus flowers. So. And this would look like I'm going for a Halloween party, but I mean, not me, but Rakuhara. So here we go. I'm going to craft this, not equip it yet, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. And um, thank you all so much for watching, and this is MH Geek signing out. Happy hunting!